Hey, let's do uh, potty <laughs> talk, okay? This is called Once Upon a... Are we is, gonna... this, is this unhealthy? I was potty trained. My mother would sit me on the toilet, and she would uh, drink tea and scream, Go! And if I didn't shit quick enough, she would take my penis and put it between the toilet seat and push down really hard <laughs> and pinch the hell out. <laughs> That's not good. Jesus. <laughs> the most disturbing part is the tea part. Yeah, she would sip her tea and leave a lipstick print on it and scream go at the top of her lungs. He sat on his new potty mm -hmm. and sat... And sat. And Grandma played a joke on him and left the plunger in. <laughs> and Joshua screamed and went to the emergency room and had little micro stitches put in his bottom while Grandma giggled and yelled, I got him, and high fived the staff. <laughs> Until one day, when Joshua had a feeling that Poo Poo was ready to come out, he ran to his potty oh. and sat down on it. Oh. Oh. And when he got up and looked into his potty, it was filled with blood. <laughs> <laughs> he had a miscarriage. Josh is a retarded woman who had no idea that he was carrying a baby. <laughs> How we run out of oil that quick when they say, oh, we're like, it's almost out. We haven't. They just don't want to drill in certain it. places. I hate trees. Drill everywhere. Drill everywhere. No. Trees are shit dicks. No. There should be... No, you guys say... All the over the ocean. Petrified forest. A bunch of fucking scared trees. <laughs> 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 fucking knock it over already. Boo. <laughs> <laughs> Faggots. <laughs> what the fuck do we need trees for? Just make air. <laughs> photosynthesis! Really? <laughs> photosynthesis. <laughs> Spies photosynthesis. <laughs> Remember I said this, trees are for queers. <laughs> I don't value fucking plant life at all, it's shit. <laughs> hey, you're eating it, yeah, fuck it. I'm not eating plant life, I'm eating some tuna. And no, celery. the celery was there. Yeah, the celery's just sitting there. No one thinks about plant life fuck it. as life. You fucking step on it all the time. If there were little fucking baby puppies on your front property instead of grass? Would you walk all over it? And yes. cut it, yes. <laughs> cut it? Get a mow the fucking grass just as it's starting to grow up and come of age. <laughs> it's starting to see the world finally. We have to mow it with our mowers. I want to see a baby sapling and fucking just karate kick it. <laughs> I've always wanted to be big just so I could fucking bend trees with my foot. <laughs> baby sapling. And like a little one, just like a little sap comes out. Yeah. The first apple is hanging off it, and I just come over and break it. <laughs> <laughs> but it's so happy that it's finally growing fruit. It's a little there. sapling. I know. You can't I, do that to the little fella. You should see the look on a tree's face when I fucking hook a handcuff up to the, my fucking trailer hitch, and I drive away with it, just rip it out by the roots and giggle. <laughs> what do you think of that, stupid? <laughs> 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 fucking hate trees. <laughs> So overrated. <laughs> Joyce Kilmer was a fucking douchebag. <laughs> fools, oh, was, poems are wrote by fools like me, but only God can make a tree. Ugh. Joyce Kilmer sucked. How do you even know that though? That's a very famous quote about a shitty poem. Mm, stupid. Fuck the trees. Well, You're do. right. Birds hang out and shit all over your car. It's not helpful. <laughs> I hate blades of grass too. A blade of grass. Yeah. Mm. Just cut it all. Make cement. <laughs> Fuck the difference. Parking lots. All front yards should be parking lots. Not handier. Exactly. All your mm. friends you come over. <laughs> Park <laughs> anywhere. <laughs> what happened to those trash? They were annoying me. <laughs> they were blocking my view. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking cut them all down. Pay the whole joint over. <laughs> Fucking bowl in the front yard if you want now. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta go, I guess. Yeah. All right. So I guess you're enjoying these wildfires, Jimmy, if you don't like trees. I love them. Now, there's nothing that makes me happier than seeing a bunch of black just smoke where trees <laughs> used to be. <laughs> I fucking love Like when you see a landscape and they're all even, all even Steven. Even <laughs> <laughs> Steven. <laughs> but but look, it, it looks sad. That's where trees and bushes and plant life was. Exactly. What do they do to stop the fire? <laughs> trees beg for fire. They really are. I'd rather have gas cans in front of my house. <laughs> 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 They're fucking totally worthless. 
How do they beg for fire? They do nothing. Every year there's fire, and every year they just stand there like dummies and take it. How about you fucking, you drip a little, you save some rainwater or something, you fucking asshole. They just drink it up like dopes. Just spit some rainwater back at it. They just, they just, they're built to be walked on. Fucking birds live in them. Fucking, like, bees hang out on them. We make paper out of them. They do nothing. We wipe our assholes with trees. <laughs> <laughs> is that great? <laughs> big, big, mighty creature. That's what you get. <laughs> Anything that wants to fuck with a tree can. They have oh, no defense. God. Fucking bark. So they should save some of the water and keep themselves nice and uh, moist. Of course and... they shouldn't. Next time a fire comes, they fucking contribute a little. <laughs> They're just waiting for us to do all the legwork. <laughs> they just sit there waiting for the fire. That's all they do. They're probably just shaking, like looking at each other like, is someone going to help? <laughs> I actually do a great Christopher Walken. Oh, let's hear do it. Do you? Because uh, Jay does it, I won't do it. Oh. I used oh. to do it in my act. Did you? Yeah. When I first started, yeah. Because Jay does it, you won't do it? Meaning if that's Jay does it, then you know it's not original, so you can do it anyhow. Oh, Why you, oh, you know, Jay? Jay Moore listens to this program he now, now shit. my yeah. friend. Yeah, he listens right now. now. So he'll Fuck know him. that Rich Voss that's right. just called him a, a ripoff. Yeah, yeah, why not? Big deal. And, uh, He's called me worse. No, he started huh? to call our show Jew? again. Oh, he did? Yeah, he, he's realized that. Who are that. you talking about? Jay London? No, I'm, I'll do Jay it. Moore. Oh, Jay Moore. I thought you were talking about Jay London. Oh, Jay you Moore. You are fucking... such a load of shit, Get Moss. out of here. You didn't say last name. Oh, he said stop. Jay. I didn't know what Jay he was talking about. I said Christopher Walken. Who do you think we met? Leno? Um, oh, right, I'll do the walk-in. Hey, little man. <laughs> wow. Wait, let me close my eyes. I, I thought, again. yeah. Again. I got this watch. Little man. Oh, my God. It's in my ass. <laughs> I that, thought it was in the room. Oh, my God. Wow. I'd open my eyes to make sure he wasn't here, Jimmy. Yep. I do these impersonations. That's fucking good, yeah, man. Yeah, do you? Yeah. I, uh... I wish I could find that one. No, I do them all day. Suicide Kings. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, I just, you don't even do lines from the movies? You just mention the movie title? Yeah, things to do in Denver. He does these impersonations. I swear, you would think it was the real people. <laughs> How about like a, oh. Yeah. Oh! Oh, that's dice. dice. <laughs> oh, why I, are you I doing said, dice? Because I do, I was just throwing in a montage of all my impressions. Oh, oh <laughs> dice too. All right. Yeah, I do them all. <laughs> I don't want to outshine Anthony with impersonations, so I just, I hold back. All right. Thank you for that too. Can we uh, no. can we get Billy Mitchell on uh, no, on the be... air? A little more Billy Mitchell for the peeps. Oh, Billy Mitchell from uh, that tool from King of Con. Why? Billy play Mitchell? it. Play the clip. Whoa! Could you get? That was. I thought he was in the in the studio. It's it's amazing. We... Yeah, he uh, set the uh, record for playing Donkey Kong back in eighty one. I believe it was mm -hmm. eighty two. Stupid. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Pardon him wall. Uh, in 82, as I've been corrected. <laughs> Very delicately. 82. Ed Wine was different. Very delicately. Dear Hunter. He just mentions movie titles. It's, That's the best impression it's, it's, ever. It's beautiful. <laughs> it's simplicity. <laughs> I like how you correct people too, Jimmy. It's very, very comforting. I was in The Shining. <laughs> oh wow! Wow, uh, that's uh, that guy. Yeah, that was the guy that uh, invited Nicholson up. Yeah, and no. uh, told him about the job. No, it was Jack. <laughs> of course, it was. The I was kidding. It was so good. I'm not going to bash your brains in, Rich, because you don't have them. <laughs> <What is it? laughs> Here's dummy. <laughs> We got a uh, lovely animal story on CNN. There's a deer that is being raised like a, like a dog, like a pet. Mm. A deer that refuses to leave this fucking uh, yard of this, of this family. So they put a leash on him and stuff, and the deer actually follows the, the family around. Wait, wait till he jumps up and oh, that's kind of cute. What? Look, the thing, he him pet it? the thing won't leave. Hmm. Oh, wait till he gives him fucking lie disease or Lyme disease. <laughs> lie <laughs> or, disease. Or lie disease. <laughs> Lyme disease. That's what Elliot Spitzer should have gotten. <laughs> yeah. He'll okay. fucking, uh, wait, wait till the right. deer fucking haunches up on his front and like donkey kicks somebody right in the fucking uh. gums. Here's my deer. <laughs> <laughs> Good kid. Where's your pet? He's Dra in the den from the neck up. <laughs> Drag it home. <laughs> <laughs> That is cute that the deer lets him pet it and stuff. I want to pet a deer. <laughs> Go to a petting zoo, you I'll, dummy. I want to pet a deer <laughs> with brass knuckles. 
Uh, Gently stroke his chin with a roundhouse. And then just come around and clock him in that flat side of his head. How shocked would a deer be if you belted it in the face with brass knuckles? <laughs> he would be so surprised. He would just like jump and run away in his little white teeth, never return to the yard. He wouldn't know what was happening. Well, he's so used to being like fed oats. Shuka, shuka. Yeah. <laughs> Under his chin, you give him the little shuka, 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 <laughs> and then, and then just from back around, just a roundhouse with brass knuckles. He's used to hearing this. Yeah. yeah. So what you do is, as you're scratching his chin, then you roundhouse right in his cheekbone, and he fucking like would he'd be shocked and just run away, looking over his shoulder like, was that planned? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> or, or hold your hand out with a little bit of grain in there, so he's eating it, and and thinking everything's fine. He's chewing. And then you just come across and hit him in that little half moon kind of round <laughs> bone thing on the side of their mouth. Or across on the, onto the bridge of his fucking <laughs> button nose. You, you fucking come down with a Liddell just fucking punch. Clock him and press. <laughs> oh, oh, his eyes would be just open all big and wide, all yeah. shocked. Oh, hopefully he'd Why fall did down. he punch me with brass knuckles? Hopefully he'd fall down and then get up and run away. <laughs> Knock him out. He has to go back to the deer community and just feel like an asshole. Because <laughs> they'd all be like, we told you so. <laughs> told you. They don't just feed you. They fuck you up. They always want something. <laughs> big, big brass knuckle marks on the side yeah. of his face. Oh, they all oh, laugh at him. God, would that be so funny to see? Break his little deer jaw. <laughs> I have to talk through a wire for three months. <laughs> talk through Who's going to wire his jaw? Well, hopefully the owners care about him. Oh, okay. If not, he's going to be fucking licking, licking soft grass. Hoping to get nutrients. <laughs> 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 Fucking faggot deer. <laughs> I like to grab that white tail and deep deck it while he nurses his sword jaw. <laughs> <laughs> While the fucking family looks on in horror. <laughs> Tails just going, fruit, 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 fluttering. He's trying to run. <laughs> I trusted them. Uh, maybe get married in game, and then they show them at a convention or something, and mm -hmm. they are just messes. Right. And they are these. Oh, well, you just say it. What the fuck? Well, who am I? OPM, what did you say, OPM, sir? Who show? It, it I interrupted you. Sorry, buddy. What'd you say? <laughs> who's who's not confident? Huh? No. Who's not confident? You're saying someone's not, co not confident, Jimmy? No, I'm telling you, the fatties and the ugly. Oh, right. yeah, yeah, I, I know. You I told us it. that already. We heard it. I was trying to add something else. You stepped all over me. All right, thanks, Mac. Yeah, no, this, suck it. You know, exactly. there should be a website out there. That story. Yeah, Jeff in Jersey. What's up, Jeff? Hey, hey, doing, excuse okay. my interruption. The game is. All right, the forget it. I didn't mean to say excuse my interruption. You go right ahead. Nothing stops this guy. Apparently, he's got that plow through. Yeah, plow right through. Oh, Jesus. We didn't hear you, dude. Could you just stop just talking to nobody right now? It's amazing. Welcome to Man Who Never Had a Conversation on the Phone.com. It's a new website. They're great I heard they're very good. When are they going to be at Radio City? We didn't hear you. September Jesus oh, okay. Christ. Thanks a lot. You're talking. I didn't mean to pardon my interruption. Oh, God, you go shut right up. Ahead. Usually when you say excuse my interruption, somebody pauses and allows you to interrupt and then they go back. But not, not, oh, wow. not fucking sir chats a lot. No sir through. He barrels right through. He must be a fun guy to be in a relationship with. You know, I have needs that are being yeah, and the game is going to be over at 7 o'clock and then I want to go out and grab food. You know, my mother's got can't do it. I want to get home. I get up out of work. And, Jesus Christ. Uh. That guy sure was a chatty fucking Kathy doll. I uh, hope he's dead right now. I hope something happened and he died. I hope he was talking and didn't hear the truck horn. <laughs> Jimmy, maybe he was just a little nervous. How uh, nervous is he? What happened? You get nervous his fucking ears shut off? <laughs> I don't like that, but... Stephen S. from Bayshore writes, his specialty was giraffe dentistry. <laughs> <laughs> open. Open wide. Giraffe. <laughs> <laughs> open. <laughs> open wide. Okay, spit. <laughs> giraffe dentistry. <laughs> Just... <laughs> uh, very nice. He goes to open the giraffe's mouth, and the giraffe just knows there's something wrong with this, and the giraffe kind of recoils like, Rrr. He shouldn't be up there. Yeah, like, why are you looking me in the eyes? <laughs> Stupid giraffe gums breath. <laughs> it smells like leaves. Berries. How punchable are giraffe necks? I've never, I've never met a giraffe, but I'm obsessed with strangling one. <laughs> well, where do you strangle? 
It, yeah, it, up it by the head matter. or down by the body. I guess wherever your hands can get around. Yeah. I'd like to clothesline one. <laughs> that would be funny. Just watch his neck bend like one of those long balloons. <laughs> How are giraffes just not attacked? Like, how do uh, every other animal just not go for the throat? Right. It's all Defenseless. throat. It's all yeah. hooves. Something <laughs> happened in nature that they were able to survive yeah. all these years. Because they could get to the leaves up at the top of the trees that yeah, the other like, animals can't get to. You could get to the neck, like you were saying. I don't know. Lions don't really take down giraffes. You never see like a predator jumping on a giraffe's back. I bet they're too, like, uh, they, they probably, their hooves are probably very strong. Yeah. And they probably fight like they, they kick. Probably, they just trample panic like those animals like just go like all right, trample panic, trample panic. <laughs> they just they just kinda jump up and down on you. They just <laughs> trample panic, trample panic. <laughs> they just fall apart at the seat. <laughs> step Love on that. you and First, there's They're one panicky Pete. I like this one because they survive. Zebras do this all the time too. There's one in the crowd that kind of looks up and then turns and their ears go up. And then runs, and the rest of them trouble panic, trouble panic. But they like yeah, they, they, and the guys. Like, did you hear any? Did you hear that? I think there's a lion. <laughs> trouble panic. But they step on their opponent, like they don't know what to do. So, like as the lion's mauling them, they're just like. <laughs> 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 they're, just, <laughs> they're just stepping on them with their dumb hooves. <laughs> I bet mean, giraffes have strong necks too. It's probably hard to get through. It's probably all. All like singing, a lot of muscle, muscle to hold that uh, head up there that high, I guess. It's not a big head though. No, a little yeah. peanut stupid head. head with those dumb little antennas. Yeah, what the hell those horns on their head are all I about. Know, so their hats don't fall off. <laughs> <laughs> Nature put in a defense so that their fedoras don't slip off because <laughs> their hooves can't pick them up. Why don't you put a hat on a giraffe's head? It either stays there forever because if it falls off, he has no one to put it back. <laughs> <laughs> Fedora. Shiraz, it's an unknown fact, but they love hats. <laughs> they're a, they're a hat-loving animal. <laughs> Wouldn't you love to put a fedora on a giraffe? How, how funny would that be to some savage just watching this giraffe walk by with a fedora on? I'm not going to talk about football today. I'm not going to take a question on this game. I'm going to talk about this article right here. If anybody hasn't read this article, I don't read it. This was brought to me by a mother of children. I think this is worth reading. By a mother of Let me tell you why I'm talking about this article. <laughs> children. Three-fourths of this is inaccurate. It's fiction. And this article embarrasses me to be involved with athletics tremendously. And that article had to have been written by a person that doesn't have a child and has never had a child that's had their heart broken and come home upset and had to deal with the child when he is upset and kick a person when he's down. Here's all that kid did. He goes to class. He's respectful to the media. He's respectful to the public. And he's a good kid. And he's not a professional athlete, and he doesn't deserve to be kicked when he's down. So wait a minute. There was an article written, I'm guessing, about... Calling a quarterback a pussy and claiming that the quarterback's mother was feeding him chicken in public. Oh. Was that a local sports writer because the kid had a bad game? I mean... Yeah. Hmm. Sounds like it. Here's yeah. more audio. If you have a child someday, you'll understand how it feels. But you obviously don't have a child. I do. If your child goes down the street and somebody makes fun of him because he dropped a pass in a pickup game or says he's fat and he comes home crying to his mom, you'd understand. But you haven't had that. But someday you will. And when your child comes home, you'll understand. If you want to go after an athlete, one of my athletes, you go after one that doesn't do the right things. You don't downgrade him because he does everything right and may not play as well on Saturday. And you let us make that decision. That's why I don't read the newspaper. Because it's garbage. And the editor that let it come out is garbage. Attacking an amateur athlete for doing everything right. Good for him, he's, man. He's pissed. Fucking A. Well, don't raise a fat Pass dropping fucking kid. Hey man, teach that little <laughs> cocksucker to catch a pigskin. That's a good point. I stand corrected. Fuck that fat boy in his mouth. 
Mom should feed chicken out of her pussy. <laughs> Put a drumstick in your twat and feed that fucking fat nothing you raised.